Hello fellow CNC nuts and welcome. In this episode I'm going to show you how I made this here. It's a pen holder for the CNC machine. It's made from basic plumbing parts. This end here we've got a quarter inch shank and that goes into the spindle. Then we've got our body here and at the end here we've got our felt pen and it's spring loaded. Let's take a look at the parts I used to make it. So for this project, I've tried to use off-the-shelf parts. And the heart of it is this here. It's called a plug nipple. Do not go looking up the internet for plug nipples. Basically, it's a nylon piece threaded with a standard pipe thread such that these end caps fit on them. It has a half inch hole in it and the other end is basically plugged off. The idea is when the plumber is installing uh, his pipes in a wall that's being built he can screw this into the fitting in the wall and then the carpenter can come along complete the rest of the wall and when it's finished the plumber can come along cut off this here to the length required and install the tap or whatever is going to go on the end of it. The great thing about the half inch hole, it's the right size to take a sharpie, although the sharpie is just a bit long. And you want a pen that's shorter, so I've decided to go with the Sharpie Mini. It's the same pen, readily available, and it fits nicely into the half inch pipe here. The biggest problem with the Sharpie is that it's tapered, which means it's going to have a lot of sideways play in it, so I'm going to have to uh, sort that out before this project is over. Now with these end caps here, I'm going to put a hole in one of them, like so, and that's for the Sharpie to come through here, and the other one, I'm going to drill a hole in the center of it, cut the head off this bolt here, thread the hole that I drill, screw the rod into, and uh, put the nut on the other end. And that gives me the shank that's going to go into my router spindle. The last problem to solve is the spring. And I have here a box full of springs and not one of them is any use for this project. Enter the earplug. Now these ones are made by 3M and they're just the right size to go into our nylon pipe here. But there's a problem. These things, when they're compressed, don't bounce back very quickly. That's because they're impregnated with something that uh, retard the movement of it. Great if you're sticking it in your ear, but no good if you want to stick it in this pipe here. So the solution is quite simple. Simply give it a wash with soapy water. And when you do that, it now becomes nice and springy. Uh, problem is though, as you can see, it's now a lot bigger than the original. Fortunately, when it dries out, it returns to its normal size, which you can then put into your pipe, and your Sharpie can use it as a spring. Now the final problem I need to solve with this is the fact that the pen here rocks when it's put in here and that's because the pen is tapered. The rear of the pen is smaller diameter than the front. The solution to that is to take a bit of masking tape and wrap it around the back of it. I took about 8 inches or 205 millimeters of masking tape and just wrapped it around the rear end of the pen here such that the diameter of it now matches the tube diameter and it no longer rocks backwards and forwards in here. 
And with that said, we can start making our pen holder. So first thing to do is to take the plug nipple here and cut it down to length. Do not look up the internet for plugged nipples. We need to cut it down to 70 millimeters. And here's a piece that I cut. And I've also put in the lathe and just skimmed off the bit of thread that I no longer want, just to make it look pretty. But you don't need to do that. You can leave the thread all the way down. And our next problem is we need to make these two pieces here. This one with a quarter inch thread in the center and this one with an 11 mil hole in the center. And the operative word there is the center. I need to take an end cap and I need to mark center so that I can drill it. And it turns out that that's easier to do than you think. First of all, thread it onto your tube here, take a drill, drop it down the center and put it in the drill press. Now for this I'm using a 12 millimeter drill, just a fraction smaller than the half inch hole. That way it won't bind up on the plastic. So now that we have the center marked on our end cap here, we can drill it out with a 3 16th hole and then tap it with a quarter 20 thread. I then take my bolt and I'm going to cut the head off the bolt here and also trim a bit of thread off as well. That leaves me with this here, our shank with a piece of threaded section on it. That just simply threads into our end cap here. I'm going to follow that up with a nut to lock it in place. And then we can use a spanner here to tighten it up so that it cannot come loose. And that's one part of our pen holder completed. Next we take our second end cap, again mark the centre, and then we drill an 11mm hole in it. That will allow the end of the sharpie to pass through but not the body and that will stop it falling apart if you find the hole is a bit tight or it's got sharp edges on it just use some sandpaper just roll it up in a bit of a cone and then you can use it to sand the end here it's very thin material brass is very soft with sandpaper you can actually very quickly increase the size of this hole or simply sand the edges of it and with that we're ready to assemble our pen holder. To assemble, it's simply a matter of taking our end here and screw it on like so. That gives us the bit that goes into the spindle. Take our freshly washed ear plug, put it down the center there. Take our pen with the tape on it and just put that in there like so. And follow that up with our bolt or our nut with the hole in it like so and there we have one spring-loaded pen ready for the CNC machine. I wonder what the CNC would say if it could talk. So I've put this here in the spindle and the pen's got nice movement there up and down and as you saw, it works really well. When I rotate it, it's got a small amount of wiggle in the tip of the pen there, but not a lot. But can I do better? Which is why I went and built this. It's the Rolls-Royce version. Basically, internally, it's very similar to this one here. However, this was made on a lathe. Unless you've got a lathe, you will not be able to make this here. But let's have a look at what's inside it and then we'll see if there's any improvement 
whether we can get rid of that wobble or not. So I started my design of this one here using standard off-the-shelf pieces. Uh, my ear plug, a croxing nut, a 70mm long nipple, a end cap, which I've drilled an 11mm hole in it, and of course our Sharpie pen. To that, I added two other pieces. The first one is this here. This is a piece of acetal that I've machined to have a tapered hole in it. It goes, the Sharpie pen fits into here like so. It's got a 10 millimeter hole at the back and a 12 millimeter hole at the front. And it tapers all the way down on a two degree taper. That means it can fit inside here just nice because I've machined this here down to 15 millimeters, which is the correct size the internal dimension of this nipple. Next, I machined up this piece, and this is a special. It's got a half inch shank. It's designed to slip into this croxing nut here. It has a shoulder in here and a 15 millimeter section here as well. That 15 millimeter section fits into the end of the pipe here, or the end of the nipple there, and then the crox nut just fits on like so and that provides a nice square shoulder for the shank which means that this will run through in the spindle in the end of here we put our ear plug like so and that just pushes into here and it can gives us our spring loading. It's slightly dampened because the tight the fit in here is such that ear has difficulty passing from the rear chamber to the front chamber. However, that doesn't really affect its operation. Lastly, we've got the end cap with our 11 millimeter hole. Now all this was made on the lathe. And it's really the only way to get the position that I wanted. Not that, I th not that it actually makes any difference to the machining. Let's put it into the spindle and see if the tip of our pen runs true. So as you can see there, there was still a bit of wobble when I used this here. In fact, it was around about the same amount of wobble as I had on this one. Basically, the problem isn't the holder it's the pen itself and depending on which pen I put in here the wobble gets either bigger or smaller. Basically sharpies are not precision made writing instruments. They're not designed to go into pen holders and be dragged around the CNC machine. And it makes me feel so much better knowing that I spent three times as much money and about two and a half hours of machining time to make this one compared to about ten dollars and a half an hour to make this thing here from beginning to to end and they work exactly the same there's no difference in how well they work so don't waste your time making something complex like this spend half an hour and make something like this now the only thing that you might have trouble with is finding this here your basic plug nipple don't after having made this I tried finding some international links for people where they could get them and I've come to the conclusion that these may well be a, uh, a New Zealand thing and may not be available internationally. Basically what you need to do is find a plumbing fitting that has a half inch hole in the center and uh, thread it on the outside that you can put end caps on. It must be 70 millimeters long. Hopefully if you can find something like that, you'll be able to easily make this pen holder. All that remains for me to do is to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.